This is Richard Allen at OculusSurge.com. This video demonstrates the use of a V to Y island flap at the medial canthus. Inspection shows the location and depth of the defect with the planned V to Y. This is a relatively deep defect and the upper and lower canaliculus have been violated, which is addressed with a bicanalicular stent. The 15 blade is then used to make an incision along the V. The angular artery and vein do run in this area, and it is good to be cognizant of their location and depth to avoid them. The needle tip cautery is then used to raise the flap and maintain the connection posteriorly. Again, bleeding may occur and cautery usually will be needed. The medial dissection of the island flap should be deep, while the lateral dissection of the flap should be more superficial. The defect is then widely undermined. The mobilization of the flap is demonstrated. Closing the donor site usually aids in transposition of the flap. This is performed with deep interrupted 5-serovicral suture. The medial canthal tendon is then engaged with the second suture to aid in the formation of a concave contour. The flap is positioned and sutured superficially with 5 de fast absorbing sutures. Superficial 5 de fast absorbing sutures are then placed in the area of the donor site. At the conclusion of the case, antibiotic ointment will be placed over the repair and a pressure patch will be placed for one day. The patient will follow up in approximately one week.